Hey y'all, good. Carissa Lake from Celebrity Cafe. It's good to interview you again. I, I'm doing wonderful. I know you're on a very short time frame. Um, yeah. I would like to hear about your upcoming tour. Well, I'm very excited. Uh, well, my actual tour starts uh, in February. I start uh, uh, in the U. Well, actually, I go to Brazil first, and then I do the U.S. We've been uh, having a great ride uh, leading up to this because I started it in Amsterdam last year, and from Amsterdam late last summer, and then from Amsterdam we went to Australia and had a, a good run there, and uh, now I start U.S. So I do U.S. and then I start the U.K. after that. So I'll be plugging through all the way through September which is a wild ride, but, uh, you know, you know me, I'm always looking forward to work. <laughs> so it's slightly busy, you know, just a little. So what do you think about the presidency that's going on right now? Is it comedian goals or what? Oh, my God, it's genius. No, I have to say, I try, I don't try not to get too political uh, in uh, in my show in general, just because you never really know who's out there. Not that I'm sure there's many, you know, uh, straight lace Republicans who enjoy drag race. I'm sure there's a handful. But um, in fairness, I think that it's, it's, it's always comedy gold. I try to find humor in everything. I mean, I'm one of those people that laugh at a funeral, and it's always the worst time, but there's always a place to find something funny. But it's almost a little disturbing with what's going on in America, so I try to provide at least a comedic side of it where we can at least forget our troubles for a good hour and a half where we don't have to get that serious because it is pretty scary when you think about it. Now, is there anyone in your career that you would like to work with that you haven't got to do so yet? Oh, my God. Of course, there's everybody in the world that I would love to work with. I mean, I get to, you know, meet and, and work with John Rivers, who was my absolute favorite. Uh, sadly, I didn't get to meet Mr. Don Rickles before he passed. But, you know, uh, I've been fortunate enough in the new film, the sequel to my movie, that we were able to work with Wanda Sykes, who is a, a, a one of my absolute favorites. Um, but there's always someone out there. I can't think of, you know, everybody has to say, Meryl Streep, she's funny as hell. Uh, but... Overall, um, there's tons of comedians that I thoroughly enjoy. You know, Chris Rock, I think, is pretty brilliant, and Amy Schumer is fabulous. And, you know, I'm open to anything. But, you know, uh, you know, it's like once, you, once you're out in the world like that, you get to witness all of these people, and it's kind of like, wow, they're closer than you think. So you never know. I keep my fingers crossed because you never have any idea of who's watching or who knows what you're, what you're even about. So we were lucky enough to snag some of those brilliant people uh, for, the, for, the, for the sequel movie that I'm doing that's coming out in the summer as well. So I was pretty lucky with that. Now, where would they be able to see the movie? Uh, the movie comes out, uh, it actually be independently released. It'll be out in the summer. Uh, so all that information will be on the Hurricane Bianca website. So it starts out uh, with them. I think it's in June, I believe, that it comes out. And I also have a, a book coming out as well, which will be happening around the same time. Well, it's slightly busy, to say the least. Is there anything you would say to someone who's never seen your show before or coming to see it for the first time? Grow thick skin, I always say. Uh, come in and have a good time. And also just remember that don't take anything seriously. I don't take myself seriously. I mean, I'm the biggest joke there is. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it too lightly. And also realize I'm a man in a wig, you know. <laughs> I'm not curing cancer. But it definitely come with an open mind. And also just realize that, you know, as I said, everything becomes a joke. And everyone becomes a target as well. You know, I, I equal, I'm an equal opportunity hater. I hate everyone. So that's what makes it entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, will you be doing meet and greets as well on this tour? Uh, sure, yes. I always do meet and greets. I do the meet and greets before the show. And uh, it's all, the, all that type of information is on my, on my website where they can pick and choose whatever package they want. And, uh, yeah, we always do the meet and greets because it's my favorite. And where can they find like, your website, dear? Uh, it's thebiancadelrio.com. Uh, it has all the information. It'll tell you where it is. And I, I like to do the meet and greets before the show because then I have the opportunity to meet a majority of the audience before I actually get to go out there. So you find out, you know, who's the fun ones, who's the quiet ones, who's the drunk ones. So it helps me out definitely when I'm on stage. Are you set up to come to meet and greet? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, good. Cause if, what we'll do is we'll make, sure we make, we'll make sure you're on a list to, to have you there so we can definitely get a photo before the show. Wonderful. I look forward to it, dear. Have a wonderful Thank tour. We'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.